More tails. Tails, tails, tails. Yo, where's my controller at? Derp. Plug and play in the middle of the game for um Steam. I don't think it was there from the get go, but man, that makes the game so much easier. Back in the day, you know, like I'll, you wanted to play like Doom 1993 with your Gravis gamepad, and you had to, you know, um, <laughs> when it when Doom started up, right before it started up, you had to like go through this thing. We had to calibrate your controller. If you fucked it up, your guy just was going ape shit crazy. N64 had that too. This. Great. Let's do this one Ron Getty style, guys. Give me a treasure. Ship settings. Eisen, you said a human soul can be reborn as a Moloch given the right trigger, right? Is that something that happens frequently? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. We He's know that humans are sometimes reborn as Malachim, but not how or why. It's more likely among people with greater resonance, but the process is still a mystery. Huh. So it's not something that happens or that can be made to happen easily, ordinarily at least. But Velvet's sister was reborn as Ceres, and her unborn child came back as Lafayette. What are the chances of that? It might not have been chance. I deal with the they devil. Both died on the Scarlet Night. Their rebirths may have been influenced by the sacrificial ceremony. Are you saying that Inominat made it happen on purpose? Call it an educated guess, but I don't think even an Empyrean can control the lives of humans or Malakim at his whim. If it wasn't chance, it might have been destiny. Velvet said she ate Ceres, her own sister reborn as a Moloch. How could such a horrible thing be destiny? Sorry, I didn't mean to make light of a tragedy, but our fates intertwine, the good and the bad, whether we like it or not. That's what makes it destiny, right? True, but this... Get a hold of yourself, Eleanor. Velvet and Lafayette are in rougher waters than any of us. They'll be looking to you to light their way. Yes. I must remain calm and steady. There's three cell bottles, man. Too expensive to use, man. Even though, I've, what if I got $300,000? Look! Over there! An Earth Pulse Rift. We may be able to get out from there. Where's Maggie Lou at? Arthur, there's something I'd like to speak to you about, alone. <laughs> Two souls possessing powerful resonance and free of malevolence. These must be sacrificed on the Scarlet Night. Ah, yes. The ceremony to resurrect Denominat. You read my book. I haven't fully mastered the ancient tongue yet, but I have read your notes. You wrote that if Inominat is resurrected, we can make a world free of demons. Seven years ago, a soul with strong resonance, my own unborn son, was sacrificed for that purpose. Now, Inominat's resurrection is half complete. Because of that, everyone's resonance has grown stronger, enabling them to see demons. Yes, that's the truth behind the opening. So, if one more person is sacrificed... Inominat's resurrection will be complete, and his power will spur the creation of many new exorcists. And there is another Scarlet Knight very soon. 
Arthur, I must ask. Love, he says. Can't I be the sacrifice? <laughs> da, da, da. Tell me, why do you think that birds fly? I think that birds fly because they must. Why else would they have wings if not to embrace the sky? I have wings too, weak as they are. That's why I must fly, now! If we miss this Scarlet Knight, the next won't be for another three years. By then, I won't be alive. Luffy said, why would you say such a thing? The twelve-year sickness. That's the name of my disease. So you know. I'm not afraid of being sick. But I don't want to just be a burden on everyone until I die. I couldn't take it. Your wings are your will. And they are strong. Please, you can't tell Velvet about this. I promise. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. for we're a family right hurry back i'll make you a quiche just the way she taught me i'll be your no new kidding. sister i think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him shut up he fell further than this back at the shrine i will have my revenge <laughs> revenge for lofty set lofty set you have so much more pain than i ever will and still i couldn't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up! It's a lie! A dirty lie! All of it! It's all their lies! And I believe this! Die! 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 Do it. What is this thing? It's velvet. Block this. Oh, my God. 
Oh, that ain't good for you, buddy. Princess. Yeah. In sustainability. Or was that something else? Shimmy shoes, man. You just killed the demon for me yourself. Ugh. She tramples people, cities, everything, living only by her emotions. What an ugly, tainted soul. It's not like that! Nothing you say will matter. She knows. She knows if it's the truth. He's right. Chaotic evil, man. Just think. Everything I did was baseless. Arrogant. And even so, I still... You hurt so many innocent people, didn't you? More than I can count. I devoured and killed so many. Without even knowing Arthur's true aims. I destroyed people. I destroyed whole towns. And worse yet? You didn't even show mercy to your own sister's reincarnation. I... hate her! And despite all of that, I still love you, Velvet. That's why... I chose to become a sacrifice. For you, sister. But think... If you tried to stop the resurrection, wouldn't my death be all for nothing? To tell you the truth, I was terrified of dying. It was so dark. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You'll accept it then? That everything you've done up until this point, all of it. Yes. It was all for nothing and for no one. Oh, despair. I hurt so many people. All for no reason. I'm a monster. If you've accepted it, you have to atone for your sins. Once I eat the final two malevolences inside you, I'll fully awaken. Give them to me. Give me your hatred, your despair. If you do, I can cleanse this world of all its pain. You could live in a world without pain and sadness. But you're a monster now. You don't belong there. 
Last dash. Let me go. We have to go. Fuck that dragon. If you don't, you will die too for no reason. No! A twisted monster like me doesn't deserve to live. Don't you understand? You're the reincarnation of the first sacrifice. Part of me. Don't worry, I'll devour you too. Lofty set, tell this self-absorbed idiot what she needs to hear! Please, let me go. We've got more killing to do, Velvet. Will Come you on. Stop whining! Huh? You're scary! You... you tried to eat me! But... You're also kind! And you're filled with life! I don't understand a single thing about you! <sighs> but you gave me a name! When I was a number! You gave me that compass! You taught me what it meant to be alive! That's why I care about you, Velvet! I'll protect you for my own sake! See? I don't care if you're malevolent or if it was pointless! If the world says it's a mistake to love you, I'll fight the whole world! I don't care how much pain you feel! It doesn't matter! A world without you, Velvet! your ass kid a flame burns in my heart too a flame I cannot quench no matter how hard I try just like you velvet I finally understand how you felt but the only one I can fight for is myself that's good enough that's proof that you are truly alive How many times do you plan to destroy and rebuild your own heart, Magilu? We're on a hundred and seven. Who was it a hundred and eight? I lost count. Not that I really care. Pathetic fool. 
Did I not tell you it would require an iron will as indomitable as the very trees that live and die across millennia? of an ideal world, one free from man's sins. <laughs> an ideal world, huh? You, kid. The boy who was your companion, Laffy said. He's alive. Chasing a terrifying demon girl, he has learned the immensity of the seas and weathered the dry wastes of the land. <sighs> Those people, they're different from us. Despite the pain, the anguish, they embrace the life they've been given. They live undaunted by the ugliness of the world! <gasps> A Moloch. So you're doing this all for them? Is that what this is? <laughs> Not even close. They aggravate me to my wit's end. <laughs> like stabs in the chest over and over and over. And that's exactly why. That's why I intend to see how all of this ends. I won't be satisfied until I do. Words bereft of meaning. You truly are my greatest failure. Gosh, funny just how little I care. No! Please! Yeah, barbecue that fucker. Let's whoop his ass. Let me guess. We came at a good time? You're late. Because of you, I had to have a really boring conversation. So, you came face to face with Inominat. If so, then you must know that your quest for revenge is utterly meaningless. Let's do it anyway. Yeah, I did. I know why sadness fills the world. And I know how deep are the burdens of sin. I tried to abandon my memories of Arthur and Laffy, to cut myself off from it all, and end this tragedy. It's... it's what they would have wanted. Exactly. You do well to know your place. But that's exactly why I can't forgive them. Not Artorius, not Inominat. I know my heart is ugly and full of contradictions, but those days we spent together in familial warmth, they're proof that I, that all of us, were truly alive. That's why, no matter how hard, no matter how sad it gets, I will take my vengeance to the very end! Velvet! Don't be a fool! Just give up and die like you ought. It is your destiny to give me that hat, son. Despair. I'm gonna take it. You take my family, turn me into a monster, and you want my soul too. Now, who's being the fool? Remember this well the Lord of Calamity never gives up, not even in the face of death. Have you no shame for your sins, you unholy monster? <laughs> Let me in on this. I lost a bet, and I've got some anger to work out. She had a bloody nose. in your condition? I thought you'd never ask. I am the dastardly witch Moggy Lou, scourge of self-righteous exorcists! 
Now face the wrath of Magilu Maven! Fools, all of you! Fear me! Everyone, sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah! You horrible imprint! See? Step the chest that's all you give me! No, 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 no. Change my focus. Really? I can't. Really? I can't go. I have to go after him. It's going to cost him a life. I'm so getting a little kid. What's it? I couldn't target him. Oh, you got your shit kicked, buddy. Did the kid? Did the kid? Oh, he did the grandpa. Oh, your kid's dead, son. What's your claws, Brian? What are y'all guys doing? Well, we all got our ass kicked by whatever the hell he did. Or who, asshole? You know Tell Artorius and Inomi not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that. The annals of history are stained with evil people like you. You spread havoc and destruction all to satisfy your own ends. A dark font of malevolence. Just like Taco your Bell. Demon Lord. The irredeemable embodiment of sin! The Lord of Calamity. It is the Exorcist's duty to destroy you! You talk a lot. How about you keep talking and tell us where Ifrid is? Ice says he talks a lot. You'll regret this. I can feel he know me not. He's coming! We can fight here no longer. 
Bianfu, close the rift. I can't. Come forth. I can be that guy too. Carelessness will get you. What's it him? What the hell? I thought it was him. You ruined the moment. Huh? Don't you mean thanks for saving us, Sabid? You're my hero and role model. Thank you for saving us, Sabid. Where exactly are we now? We're in an abbey facility on Hexen Isle. I heard Melchior was in charge here, so I snuck in. I hadn't expected an extra dimensional space. Is there a way out? There is now, but I've busted my way in. Let's head outside. We can talk then. Uh... Who's that? A friend. His name is number one. Hey, want to come with us? If you stay here alone, a dragon might get you. I bet you wouldn't like that. Yeah, that sounds scary. That sounds scary. Right. Come on, kid. What are you doing? You can't leave him like this. I'll get him a vessel somehow. <sighs> Do what you like. Fine, fine. I'll join your little combat crew. He will. Take a look at this. Our scout ship has returned. What? Great. Let's do this one run gets it style, guys. Almost got scout it, man. Scout ship departing. Hang on a second, Brian. It's causing trouble. Lord Brain, he gets the broom right. He eats the little straws out to the broom, and then he, you know, puke or poops up the straws. <laughs> It's a hobby. So we're not done with fighting this place, huh? Let's do it. No, no skateboard. You seem awfully chipper, Velvet. I'm fine. And I guess I have you to think as well. Perhaps. But gratitude doesn't suit you. Now, say ah. Uh. Huh? I need to see your teeth. I made a hundred gold bet that you'd break, remember? So, I need to see if you've broken anything. Let's start with those teeth. Help us out, kiddo. All right. I just need to check our front teeth, right? Front teeth, canines, whatever. Just get in there and take a good hard look. You didn't mean that literally, did you? Why are you making me do the checking? Acting the innocent maiden, are we? Well, I suppose that some say that showing the inside of your mouth can be more personal than being seen naked. 
What? what? Seriously? Magilu, you're only making this even more awkward. Come now, will you cooperate or not? We can't settle the bet until we know the tooth. Fine, but let's check the ones in my left hand first. Good, I believe Bienfu can assist with that. <laughs> Why me? Leave me out of it! <laughs> She's squeezing me! Ouch! Those fangs hurt! <laughs> Looks like Velvet is just fine. Yeah, the sparks returned to her eyes. But, uh, is showing the inside of your mouth really that embarrassing? What? Keep your intrusive questions to yourself! The size of the art that created this place. Just what is the Abbey planning to use it for? Whatever it is, they're trying hard to keep it hidden. Can't be anything good. I didn't die, huh? I see little guys running about. Brian, get out of there. He wants that broom. I still need a lot of training. Put my broom. Is like, training hard? I guess in a broom closet. It's necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I don't think so. <laughs> Classic honor roll, student. We'll make a broom closet so Brian can't get in. He'll want to get in that closet. Try to turn it into a Brian closet. Take some topaz fragments. Which is was a double swerve. Resist. Just freaking no hitting art, so do you? No problem, man. Got this. What does that elixir do? Probably some KO. It's like a freaking wow. Some broke shit's what it is. You won't 
get any pity or compassion from me. Demolish those guys. This is sad. Hey, who was that kid anyway? He and I used to be tethered to an exorcist named Lady Teresa. He was number one, I was number two. Oh, -ho, a friend of yours then. So he went feral after that Teresa lady fell. Yeah. I found Velvet and the others, but he probably had nowhere to go. A stray Moloch stripped of his free will won't go much further than a demon's belly. Anyway, seems like the only people I run into these days are kids. I'm more in the market for an unattached woman with a pretty face. Um, Big kitty. sorry? <laughs> I'm just fooling around. Grow a sense of humor, kid. Anyway, relax. I'll keep an eye on him until he's in command of himself again, all right? Just one more reason to bring the Abbey down. And now right. I wonder who the freaking Thanks, demon that looks just like him had his hair as with Melikor. So I just knew it. I knew that was going to be him, and it wasn't. It's a clone. done with that thing he had to like 700 down points so yeah he's in close Why do we only have six battle points? It should be like eight. Something must have been giving me battle points I wasn't paying attention to. Like in the um, enhancements or in the randoms. I ain't gonna worry about it. Take that gold scrap too. Luffy said, can you think of a good name for the kid? You're giving number one a name? Yeah, he says he can't remember his true name and calling him by a number seems mean, you know? Yeah, I was really happy when Velvet gave me my name. Hey, I've got this. How about Hajime? It means the first, and he's number one, right? In that case, why not just go with Ichiro? No way, that was Shigure's childhood name. Why should that matter to us? It should be softer. How about Ichi? Or maybe something like Numbi? Numbi? Where'd that one come from? It's like number, but uh, more cute. Let's just forget that one. I don't think we should reference his old number at all. Um, how about Bob? Yeah. Uh, is that just because of his hairstyle? That's really reaching. Actually, I kind of like it. 
If it's too plain, how about Bobby? Hmm. That isn't bad. Right? Then number one is hereby renamed... Stop it, you two! You don't understand it at all! A boy doesn't want a name that sounds cute! You... you don't think so? That was quite an outburst. <laughs> the kid has a point. You need something with more panache. How about Silva? Silva? His hair and pendant are both silver. I like it. It's got a certain mystique about it. Silva. Yeah, it sounds cool. Well, if his old buddy Laffy said approves, then Silva it is. Well done, first mate. Praise from you is wasted on me. Huh. Then consider it praise from Silva instead. Right. Time to go give him the good news. Hey! The Moloch formerly known as Number One. You've got a new name. I'm glad he got a good name. Maybe we should have put a little more thought into naming you, too. That's all right. You need to steer your own ship. Right, Aizen? You're the one who taught me that. <laughs> you know just what to say, don't you? Moloch formerly known as Number Two. <laughs> Magilu, what were you up to while we were lost in the Earth Pulse? I was ringing the bell. The rift was open the whole time. Couldn't you hear me? I don't remember hearing any bells. She was fighting with Lord Melchior. She really gave it her all. Bianfu, don't give him the wrong impression. But you endured so much. It was... it was so moving. Yes, yes, I did endure. It was so hard not to laugh. Did the old man tell you a joke or something? It was a staring contest, and oh, the faces that old man can make. I kept picturing him as a young man, but with that same wrinkled face, and it was so hard not to crack. <laughs> I needed to keep myself in check. My desire to laugh was only broken by the ringing of the bell. Clang! Crash! What a thrill! Wait, was that the only thing that broke Mogilu? Are you asking if he broke my heart? Like I'm fishing for sympathy? That's not what I meant at all. You stood watch over the Earth Pulse Rift for us. I didn't say that. Stop trying to give me a participation medal. Just take it. After all, you don't care either way, right? True that. <laughs> I hope I did a good job. Just keep the XP coming. It's never been a good place to fight a um, dire foe. I haven't seen nothing though. Oh, we yeah, got going up here. Something's about to happen. A dragon! It looks like it's been captured. Just like the Therians. But why would they hold a dragon captive? Hmm. An art connects this place to the Earth Pulse. That's probably why we were taken here. Earth Pulse. So it's got something to do with the Nomi Knot? That would be the obvious conclusion. I don't get it. Explain. Small words. Very well. You're part of all this, too. Velvet. I'm fine now. I promise. All right. I see. You found out Inominat's true identity. So, now that you know, can you still fight him? It's only given me more reason to kill him. And the Shepherd. You're one ice-cold girl. There's still one thing bothering me. Inominat needs to eat malevolence to awaken. Once he does, he'll use his power to suppress negative emotions. 
But when humans can't create any more malevolence, what will happen to Inomina? He'll run out of things to eat. And maybe die? Hmm. Wouldn't he just go back to sleep? But if he does, then his power will fade and humanity will start creating malevolence again, right? In order for Inomi not to eternally suppress negative emotions... He needs an infinite, powerful source of malevolence to feed off of. For example, that produced by an immortal dragon. Which would make this place a sort of dragon farm. Created so he could control humanity forever. You Let's can't fight the be dragons. serious! Just speculation, but it all makes sense. They can't think of Malakim as anything but tools. Just how much will they sacrifice for their ideal world of tranquility? <sighs> what was it that I believed in all that time? The image I'd built of the Abbey is crumbling from the bottom up. Please cheer up, Madame Eleanor! You'll make me depressed too! Is this about the dragon farm? Yes. I strongly doubt even the Abbey has the power to manipulate dragons so freely. Then that dragon... Wasn't a dragon before it came here? That's the natural assumption. They probably brought the Malakir as a captive, then turned him into a dragon. Just like Melchior did, eh? Is there no line they won't cross? I don't know what to say. It's not your fault, Madame Eleanor. But spawning dragons in addition to Therians... Do you think they'll figure out a way to make humans, too? Yes. Wait, that's awful! I can't believe you went there! We don't dare free it. It'd be too dangerous. Oh, come on. Damn the Abbey and their twisted morality. What the bloomin' hell? You just showed me the dragons, can't fight the dragons? Jump over the top of that thing. Careful, broke brain. Careful. Time to dish out spankings. Asshole. Yeah, be hit. 
Cerberus way, Brian. Thingy, right? 78 Queen B. Yeah. Get that some bitch. 44,000 hit points. Organizing. Get night sight. This is I've already defeated six of them. Fuck you! I know it did half his life. He's got no hit points. It sucks. He's not a real freaking boss. I mean, maybe it was for like when I first did the Earth Pulse like 35 hours ago. Just how does this sword give him eight, nine gray points. Don't touch it. You'll hurt yourself. In other words, the rest of her is fair game. Not unless you really want to get hurt. Or something. The iron fist. Look how shitty it is. Get it, go ahead and get it. Take a look at this. Take a look at this iron fist, Brian. Good luck out there. What is it? I was once your sister's child, right? Yes, yeah, so Then my buddy. father is... Look, Art. you were reborn, right? Yeah. Honestly, I really don't know anything about how being reborn works. But to me, what you see, what you hear, and what you feel, that's what's important. Whoever we used to be in another life, I'm me now, and you're you. That's all there is to it. Velvet. That's true. Aizen said that not all Malakim are humans who have been reborn, right? Does that mean they could be reincarnations of birds or fish or beasts? That's not, 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 not true. So, if a boy was a dog in a past life, that wouldn't make him part of the dog's family now. Yeah. I'm me, I guess. But you're Velvet's cute little pup, aren't ya? Mogilu. Be careful. I bite. I take it all back. Just don't fight me. Rebirth is like the Earth in Historia. You're simply built on a larger foundation. But that's not special. Everyone's lives are founded on the past. So, I'm just me. Yep. You're you and no one else. You're Fee. 
Hey, first mate. Who is that horned demon with the old man? I don't know. I thought it was you. I thought I felt something different about him. So it's Alfred, Only huh? For just a moment. Did you feel it too? I said, I don't know. I see. <laughs> You're impossible, you know that? We've come across him before, but we never really fought him. My guess is Melchior is controlling him with some sort of illusion. I see. Then it's probably good you didn't fight. A straight battle against him wouldn't be an easy thing. How do you know that? Intuition. I have a nose for these things. I did too. There's I got something up fishy on about him. That scar on his face. Couldn't be. What's the matter, Aizen? You've gone pale. Forget it. It's nothing. We need to get out of here. Let's go. Goat scrap, man. Here we go. To somewhere. We made it. I came here by ship. It's anchored by the southeast Turtles. beach. So we got a way out and everything, and we got a mark. But more importantly, we have a turtles. And a skateboard. I see everything. Mithril. $50,000 for a mithril. Dude, that is destroying my money. We need both. What the fuck is this? This is 50. Pinion. Pinion. It's the one that isn't $50,000. All damage taken reduced by 30 just points. Is that why that cost fifty thousand dollars? Need for boots. Sixty thousand dollars for boots. Brian, I was rich. This is what I've been holding on to to try to get me some money back. Be going set selling back in the freaking the, the, the highest level place to get the most treasures. Kitty crisp. Alright, so what are we going to do about this? Nope. Nope, but it's coming up. This right here is where it is. Force ring, you get the pinion ring. Boots got to go too. Mithril boots. You only have one mithril boot. Ooh, that sounds really expensive and hard to keep up with.
wish it didn't have everybody on it. Right here, these Amalia rings. Well, this price, man. The price of these goodies. You ain't got it. Cost sixty million dollars. I'm about to pay it too. What else did you have, buddy? The boots. Sixty thousand dollars for the boots. Buy it. That's rough. That's real rough. Well, you could sell all of your gear as opposed to um, disassembling it. Where's that asshole at? He ran for it. Don't waste my time. <laughs> Nine hundred dollars. Mystical feather garment. It's like fuck it, fuck defense. Just straight focus. Hell yeah. It was only Chuck Norris can run the house, kick elephants in the face, and make them explode. This is gonna be a new critter here. Oh! Oh! Critter! We need to get rid of him anyway. Ah! What happened? Mustache. I didn't see that. <laughs> we used to play tag all the time. I won't let you get away, Velvet. Brian, you have to get up. You're you looking like death claws. You got a fight <laughs> coming up. Let's do it right now. <laughs> Take the despair from this kid. Stop it! You're turning him into a dragon! That was the whole reason I took him from Teresa. It's just another necessary sacrifice for peace. <gasps> yeah, I get to fight the dragon. And know me not, you monster! 
They know me not to the front of us, a dragon to the back of us. Reaper's curse doesn't begin to describe it. What a shame. Is that despair I sense? No. Not on your life. It'll take more than this to make your big sister break. The more you resist, the more you'll suffer. Velvet, let me punish this rotten little delinquent. You're just a Malak. You don't stand a chance. They have the gun, though. I'm not just any Malak. Persona! And I'm sick of murdering scum like you! I know no limits! For I am Rashido! Oh boy, different game. This is officially too damn much. We'll be fine. No, Brian. Brian wants a damn lap. Only I've been a larger vessel. Save your regrets for later. We're dead if we don't focus. Alright, bring in a. That's a hell of a pushback. Ass, and I was blocking. I seen something happen. No, little kid, no. Yes. It's a Mithril King, okay. down in one push. I told you you would suffer. Safid. Man, I gotta get rid of all these extra characters. Unnecessary I'll for the story. I'll hold off, me not. Everyone else, take out that dragon. Yeah. There's no way you can face him alone. At least let me assist you. This isn't an order. It's strategy. Strategy. The fuck he's walking out. I'm counting on you, Fee. He's got a six shooter's hat. For something that's a mere part of me, you're awfully uppity. I am the Mala Mafi set. Magic missiles, man. I miscalculated before. I won't hold back this time. Stepmom's worried. And neither will we. He's got his life back. Oh God, it was changed. We're still in the same bind. Everything's going flash, but I'm just close. I won't miss. Form zero. The mustache. I thought 
thought I dodged that, but it's more to it than that. I dodged that. Give my meter. Did I whiff? I don't think I did. Princess Strike. I don't want to waste my uh, battle gauge because I'm about to fight a moment on the, the next move. That's how we did damage to this stupid dragon right there. Guard this, son. I thought I dodged. Well, I took a thousand damage or something. I don't know. Oh, he just casted fire? Dear God. Yo, that's brutal. What an asshole. She's gonna get killed before she gets healed up. I can't get freaking going for it to keep you know, somebody up. Here I come. Lost my freaking battle meter too. Fully maxed out. These thing hurt like fuck. Stun my ass with a dragon yell. All right. Hey, he said. It's healing again. No, it's not. Devour it. You talk big, but you're struggling even to protect yourself. <laughs> if you apologize now, I'll make sure it doesn't hurt when I devour you. No way I'm apologizing! Not to some jerk who doesn't understand how Velvet feels! And you're saying that you do? She's my sister. I know everything, but I won't tell you! So be it. <laughs> If I devour you, we'll be one again anyway. The compass. She isn't yours. Oh uh, hell. Velvet is velvet. In your eyes. Dragon's gonna die. Oh. So 
that was your strategy. Hey, give us more warning! You almost roasted us alive! You've really done it now. I'll turn you into a dragon. See who's left in this! Jesus We're is leaving. here. Hurry! <clears throat> Some shitty grade, but you know, yeah. They got away. A silver flame. A strange art that Malak used. Did you forget that you have the power to digest malevolence? That thing may be a fragment, but it's still part of you. But the dragon attacked me. If it hadn't disrupted my concentration like that, I never would have let my fragment lay a finger on me. So long as you learn from your mistake, such a ruse won't work a second time. After all, Malakim are mere servants of the Empyreans. As long as we stay wary, they pose no threat to our ideal world. Your awakening is nearly complete. None within your domain can stand man. against you See without the, the power of the four elemental Empyreans. And they oh, are fast cool to well, sleep LeBron. far beneath the Earth pulses. I'm going after them. No, not now. We need to make preparations for the ceremony of suppression. We'll send this one after them instead. A demon? Will he be reliable? He'll be devoured. True, he can be hard to control. Even after he succumbed to demonhood, he withstood my illusions for seven days and nights. Even now, he resists on an instinctual level. However, he used to be known as the most fearsome pirate in all the seas. His strength is equal to any legates. You. Capture the Therion Velvet. Do whatever you have to, as long as you keep her alive. Wait. First... First, kill him. Kill Lafisette. Before my sister's eyes. He's the only thing keeping her from falling to despair. <laughs> it's true. Demon or not, he still possesses an odd sort of pride. I'll have to relieve him of such a meaningless burden. Well, that made for good training, at least. We fought an Armatus, an Empyrean, and a dragon. It's a miracle we're still alive. It's all thanks to and not broke. He's still asleep. He must have used all his physical and mental strength. The fire that burns away malevolence. That's quite the talent he's got there. Is it because he's part of Enominot? Sure could be. In one sense, that's a lucky break for us. But on the other hand... Anyway, I lost that bet. And I was so sure I was gonna win, too. Awful lot of drama you're making over 100 gold. Don't you dare laugh off 100 gold! One with no respect for gold will be by 20 lions mauled. Everyone knows that. Right. Anyway, what do we do next? Nothing's changed. We seal Inominata away and kill Artorius. Even if Inominat has awakened, there must be a way to seal him back again. Our best lead is still Grimoire's ancient book. We should meet up with Benwick and the others. Are you sure you want to stay with us? I don't know if it's the right choice or not. But I refuse to believe Lord Artorius is right. That sacrifices are inevitable bumps on the road to a better world. That's why I'll do what I believe is right, and fight him. Even if I'm wrong, I won't have any regrets. Do you have any idea how frustrating you are? Here one to talk. She's awesome, man. Eisen, get in touch with Benwick and the others. 
demon. It had to have been. Eisen? Well, I was wrong too, buddy. I think we need a break more than anything. That was a long stretch of battle. Hell yeah. Seconded. Besides, the boy and Zavid aren't waking up anytime soon. Let's find a place to sleep for tonight. Eleanor, look after Luffy said. Maybe you ought to carry him. Right, <laughs> just not take no for it. You. <laughs> Please. Very well. Lean back in the chair, Brian's gonna get in the lap. That's how it's gonna be. You can lean back in the chair. The poor kid. Damn, you're cold. No, quite the opposite. Take a look at this. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. I have news. The last attack. Scout ship setting sail. Give me some money for that last thing, man. I'm confused by that. Kinda look disgusting. That's redonkulous sideburns. She's already got elf ears. I'm glad you didn't win that bet, Mogilu. Sure, you're glad, but what witch would be happy at losing? And you pampered Velvet like crazy! It's your fault I lost! Really? I don't remember doing anything. Nope, wasn't us. <laughs> Staying out of it is just as bad! If you don't throw salt or sugar into an open wound, you're guilty of being too nice! I lost the bet because of you. You owe me. In that case, let us get in on the action. Let's make another bet. Oh, I'm listening. I'll bet 10,000 gold that velvet cracks. Oh. I'll make that same bet. 10,000. Uh huh. Hey, wait a minute. You both know that I'm the one who wants to bet that she cracks. Then you should have spoken up first. We well, can call the whole thing off if you want. No, no. What kind of gambler would I be if I back down now? I'm afraid I have to take that bet. I hereby bet 10,000 that Velvet doesn't crack. <laughs> What's so funny? For someone so stubborn, you can be surprisingly cute sometimes. You're calling yeah, Brian. a witch cute? That's slander! You both owe me the money you bet as reparations! I guess we're going to the inn to rest. Yeah. 
this guy got nothing interesting. It's probably more of a dismantle type thing right now. Gold scrap from Misfortune Ward. Gold scrap for the Stoic Idol. Just when you think you've got something good going on, it's, you know, it's outdated. Don't, don't, um, you need to enhance those on my mobiles, whatever they are. Gold scrap, yeah. Okay. That was armor. Say if you, that's what I thought. So you can get to level nine. If you go to level eight, there's a chance you get the two, so you go to nine. Or is it the other way around? Go to um the plus eight. So if you disenchant, you get the five or two. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. No, I need the tempering. I need the core. I mean, the the standard, really. All right. Dismantle all them. Oh boy, 
always expensive shit. There's a lot of useless plus threes laying around too, but hang on to that, okay? Just don't freak out. Going to the end. That's a bunny. You know when bunny eats those right there, they're gonna make little pellets. Poop pellets. What are you doing, Brian? Brian's creeping my ass. So, should I think of you as my sister? I'm a Moloch named Ceres. I've inherited Selica's memories, that's all. And that doesn't make you the same person? What exactly defines a person's identity? I may have her body and her memories, but... <sighs> You're right. If your soul has changed, you're not the same person anymore. Even if I were Selica, I don't have the right to be called your sister. I followed Artorius' orders without question, sacrificing my own flesh and blood. What about me? I devoured you. I have no right to condemn you for what you've done. There's a difference, Velvet. I wanted you to do it. Even had I survived, I would have given myself to you before long. I wanted you to have my power, no matter the cost. But why? Right after the advent, Selica's memories returned to me. <sighs> it was then I understood what exactly it was I had done. Arthur, kind and caring, transformed into the cruel Artorius he is now. Why did your memories return? I don't know. I've heard that very rarely Malakim can regain the memories of their previous lives. Or perhaps this is my punishment for the pain I brought to you all. The stronger I feel my love for Arthur, the less I can forgive Artorius. My hatred of him has grown so deep I'm not Selica anymore. As Ceres, I can never bring back the Arthur that I loved. Neither do I have the power to defeat Artorius. But you can. You're a Therian. You fully absorbed my power. You can face the Shepherd. I know. I will stop him. Forgive me, Velvet. I've pushed everything onto you. My hatred, my determination. I wanted to apologize one last time at the end. I'm glad I had a chance to know you. I'm glad that once I could be Lofi's sister. And Selica and Arthur's sister as well. I was happy. This freaking goop. Velvet. <laughs> she hasn't taken a bath a long, Should you long be up time. So soon? Yeah, but stay back. <gasps> it's finally come to this. But of course it did. After all, I chose my revenge over a world of peace. I can't complain if people call me the Lord of Calamity. Velvet, whether you're human, demon, or lord of calamity, it doesn't change that you have beautiful hair. Laffy said the same thing to me a long time ago. He gave me this comb. Your heart. 
I can tell it aches. Yes. But even still, no. Because of that, I've made up my mind. I'm going to settle things with Artorius and Inominat, once and for all. It must be done. For my sake, and for the sake of those I loved. I will too. Even without my compass, I'll place my hand on the wheel and chart my own course. I will defeat Artorius. But if I kill Inominat, Lafiset, and me and the other Therians, they'll all disappear. And the Malachs. A compass. Hmm. Aizen! Why the hell didn't you say something? Hmm. Calm down. You were passed out at the time, okay? <sighs> I'm going. I've gotta stop him! What's going on? We got a message from the Von Eltia. That's great. Is everyone okay? Yeah. For now. Huh? While Benwick and the others were making their getaway, they got word that Eifried was spotted in Endgame. They said they're on their way to Lionel Island to meet him. That has to be... A trap. Yes, a trap. No doubt set by that horned demon, who may even be Eifried himself. Eifried is a demon? Are you serious? I said may. Let's head to Lionel Island. Whoever it is, it's a lead. Besides, we can't afford to lose the Von Eltia. That's How true. How will we get there? Zavid probably sailed off with the ship we came in on. We'll steal one from the harbor. I may be a calamity, but I'm frugal. Oh, I gotta stand back up. Can't, can't lay down because Brian will jump on my lap. Freak me out. Once Percival safely made it back to the it's capital. Predator. The Abbey used everything they had to rescue him. I heard he was kidnapped by the Lord of Calamity. So if they got him back, that demon must be... Dead. Along with all of her gang. That's what a friend of mine in the Royal Army told me anyway. The Abbey's propaganda at work again, I see. We're finally safe. Hurrah! Hold Hurrah? Up, hold up. From what I hear, no one knows if the Lord of Calamity actually gave up the ghost. Her hideout got destroyed, but some say she managed to escape. What makes them think she escaped? Fishermen from Port Renit saw a fleet of Abbey ships near that island that's rumored to be a prison. Just a little bit later, they saw a pirate ship speeding away from the area where the Abbey ships were headed. Well, that was definitely us. Guess it isn't that easy to hide the truth. There was some talk a while ago about prisoners' bodies washing up on shore at Port Renit. So that story sounds plausible, at least. It does. And here I thought I was safe. So where did the Lord of Calamity go? Right here. The Abbey needs to get their act together and put that monster down already. Go ahead. Talk all you like. Curse it all. If only I'd notice sooner. I saw an Abbey ship heading toward the Sea of No Return. I wonder what they're doing. They've made that whole area off limits. The guild got an order from the Abbey telling us to stay away. They're being nice and careful, and taking precautions to keep the secret of Hexen Isle just that. Yeah, but order or not, no one here is stupid enough to try to sail there. It's said that compasses go dead, and monsters from the deep appear to swallow ships whole. Whatever the case, ships really have sailed there to never return. Everyone knows that the Sea of No Return is bad news. Come to think of it, I heard a ship from some other town strayed into those waters and got attacked by a dragon. A dragon? <laughs> you sure they didn't just get a bad case of the Corsair Scourge and dream up the whole thing? Well, that was my reaction, but then again, the Abbey did tell everyone to stay away. So, something must be there. Whatever it is, we'd all best leave it be. The Sea of No Return. What a poetic name. For the Malachim taken there, 
That poem is a tragic one. Everywhere the Abbey sets foot ends up the same. He loves to say points. How about this one? The hole looks dirty, and I don't see anyone aboard. You're surprisingly into this. Maybe you've got a criminal streak in you after all. What? No, I... What do you think, Aizen? She'll do. Let's take her. Well, that's where we're going. But there's supposed to be ten Class 4 zones. I've only seen five, but more the other five, huh? Huh, Brian? Huh? <laughs> Everything all right? We're almost at Lionel Island, all thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. If only my inner compass held as steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. But some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you. Part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, you sure know how to liven up an adventure. He sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by one's... Look! It's Lionel Island! Not good. The Von Elty is already there. Okay, Kitty. Gotta let you down, Brian. <sighs> We're too late. Eleanor! What's going oh, on? Oh, God. What She's still alive. A horned demon attacked us out of nowhere! They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. This is all because I hesitated. Where'd they go? Zavid lured the beast away, towards the interior. Let's go! There's a point. Stop enough from another video, Brian.